Hey everyone, today I'm going to be customizing this windless long hewing spear and this butt cap. Before I get into that, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. On the head, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen it, but of course I have to fit a spear shaft for this and I'm also going to customize the spear shaft while I'm at it. And then of course I have to add the butt cap. This is the handle that I'm going to be using. First thing I have to do is remove the finish. This handle is Brazilian Oak. The finish is scraped off, so now I'm going to start sanding this smooth. Don't look back, rush, you're so fast. Don't ever be caught, this is not your war. The sanding is done for now because I plan on doing a burn pattern to this. So, no reason to get it too nice considering I'm going to use a wire brush on it. But I'm going to cut the end off and fit both ends. No one can make you do anything against your will. They're all afraid of you. Jump much higher. time as you know no cage is good enough for you no one can make you do anything against your will they're all afraid of you you're my friend you're such a faithful friend There we go, the burn is now done. I wasn't originally going to do the very ends because the spearhead and butt cap were going to cover that up anyways, but I figured why not just do it. I'm now going to apply some tongue oil to the handle. This will both hydrate the wood and give the wood a lot of nice color. The first coat is applied, and now I will give this 24 hours to dry, and then I will apply a subsequent coat. While the tongue oil on the spear shaft is drying, I'm now going to turn my attention to the blade. This blade currently has no edge at all, so I'm going to have to actually start on a rougher grit belt. I'm going to start on a 40 grit. A little piece of advice to anyone who's sharpening a double-edged blade like this. One thing that I do is I either number one side, so this side has a one, or I'll put a piece of tape on that side. If this were a blade with a guard, I would just put a piece of tape on the guard. But in this case, since there is no guard, I just put a piece of masking tape with the number one. That way I know if I set this down one, to, okay, which, which side was it I was on? There you go.
blade is now sharp and it does cut paper, as you can see. So from here, next up what I'm going to do is finish the handle and then we will get this put together. Before I put the spear together, there's some rust on the inside of the socket of both the spearhead and the butt cap. I'm going to take care of that right now. I'm going to use a 12 gauge cleaning brush on the end of a drill to get the rust out and then I'm going to wrap the brush in steel wool to burnish the inside. There we go. It's hard to see, but the inside of these are now clean, so I will now attach this spearhead to the shaft. The head is now secured, so now I'll secure the butt cap. There we go, I pinned the spearhead in place, right here. The spear's almost done. The only thing left that I have to do to the spear is I'm going to carve a rune into the handle. The rune is going to be the Tiwaz rune. The Tiwaz rune represents the Norse god Tyr, which is the god of war. Carving the Tiwaz rune into a weapon was believed to bring victory. Here's what the Tiwaz rune looks like. So now I'm going to carve that into this weapon, and I'm going to fill it in with some red paint. Paint is applied, and I will now remove the masking tape. I ended up applying way more tape than I needed to, but I wanted to have minimal mess to have to clean up just in case. Now I'm going to use a little cloth with a little bit of mineral spirits to get any leakage. This is still a little bit tacky, but I'd rather get this now rather than when this is all 100% dry. And here we go. Here's the rune. As you can see, the red paint definitely makes it pop. And it is on both sides, as you can see. So that's pretty much it. This spear is now done. I need to make a sheath for the blade, but that's going to be another video. If you'd like to have a spear customized by me, you can find out how to contact me at studentwarcustoms.com. The link will be in the description. I do work on more than just spears, so definitely check out my website. The music in this video was made by my friend Lo Belver. The link to his channel will also be in the description along with the timestamps of the songs used. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next video.